say, like I mentioned earlier, I think this game is going to be gross. I think neither team is going to score more than, you know, 21 points. I'm going to take Russell Wilson under 254 and a half passing yards. The Jalen Ramsey has shown he can shut down DK Metcalf. Troy Hill has shown he can be a shutdown corner against, he can go against Tyler Lockett. Um, Seahawks are, that's kind of the end of their target list. I mean, David Moore's okay. They can kind of toss it to Chris Carson. They have Greg Olson at tight end. I just don't see them throwing the ball a ton and being very successful on the Rams. Rams are the best pass defense in the NFL. They only gave up 190 yards per game in the air through the season. And in the two games we played against the Seahawks, Wilson had 248 and 225 passing yards. And I I couldn't agree more, Steve. I think I had the exact same logic as you. And when I wanted to look at a Seattle prop bet for a player, I went Russell Wilson under attempts, 35 and a half. You know, he hasn't hit it against the Rams in either matchup this season. And given the fact that there's quarterback uncertainty and this is sure to be a rock fight, there's a little bit of juice there. I mean, they're going to take a little bit away, but minus 130, I really like that. And while we're on Seattle and stupid 130 bets, Freddie Swain, longest reception over five and a half yards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might have to use him. Yeah, and he every time he's played in a game, he's hit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I mean, you might be thinking, oh, it's wild card weekend. Tom Brady, Russell Wilson. No, 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 no. This this week is about Mo Alley Cox and Freddie Freddy Freddy Hell yeah. <laughs> Legends weekend. So. <laughs>